Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's your girl Jen Scene, aka Jungle Maps. And today we're going to be talking about the new NYX Love Out Loud lippies that just came out. Before we get into the specifics, for those of you that are brand new to my channel and you love beauty videos, hauls, tutorials, reviews, all that jazz, go ahead and subscribe because I do upload three times a week and you don't want to miss out. So while you're at it, go ahead and click that notification bell. Okay, so there are six new shades that they've released. I'm going to be modeling them all for you guys and I know you're probably looking at me right now and you're like, I want to know what you're wearing. This is Ofra Atlantic City, but these shades, there aren't any reds in there. <laughs> Actually, the reason I'm wearing this, I switched, uh, is because I'm about to go and celebrate my wedding anniversary with my husband. So that's really exciting and I wanted to, you know, vamp it up a little bit and wear some red but these six lipsticks now they are very unusual shades guys so if you're somebody that only wears nude colors this is not gonna be for you at all <laughs> when I looked up the retail price on the Ulta website it did say that they retail for $6.99 each so without any further ado let's go ahead and jump into the first shade now this shade here is called extraordinary and it is more of a brighter purple like I said before guys make sure that you really love bright colors when you're purchasing these I really like these because I feel like they're matte but they're still like a creamy matte finish so it's not gonna transfer but it doesn't dry ultra matte like the ColourPop lipsticks or liquid lipsticks it's more of like a creamy sensation and I love that as always I think that whenever you're applying liquid lipsticks make sure to exfoliate your lips and to also put some chapstick on as long as it's not too thick um, yes, that's going to be like the perfect base for a liquid lipstick and that way you can wear it all day comfortably. Now the shade Fearless is a lilac color and I feel like because my lips are like very full and big you can really see these colors and how they would look on someone of my skin tone. I actually really like this. It is a very like daring and bold color. Something that I really liked about these lipsticks is that when I was removing them I felt like um, they were easy to remove and they didn't like stain my lips at all so you're seeing the true color you're not seeing any other like tainted or stained color underneath and yeah this is really beautiful if you're into purples this is going to be a gorgeous color for your selection moving on to the color brilliant it is probably one of my favorite colors here it's so beautiful it's more of like a like mauvey type of color in person but um, yes I mean super gorgeous formula is still consistent throughout each different shade and for me I feel like I would just wear this more on a consistent basis I'd probably add a liner around the lips but it is super super pretty okay so the next color here this one is called confident now this one is hella bright and I feel like my camera brightness makes it look almost like <laughs> white but this is more of like a Barbie nude type of color. Now the way to make this work if you're someone of a deeper skin tone is you must add um, a darker liner like a chocolatey brown liner around the edges and bring it inwards like blend it inwards towards the center of your lips and then add this color so I'm going to show you confident alone and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when you just add a bit of some um, lipstick and liner on top of it ideally I would like to use it as a base but I just kind of wanted to show you guys what they look like together and alone so you would have a really good comparison if you're thinking about getting this type of color all in all I think it's really pretty of course I would rock this with the lip combo um, but I think that either way I mean if you're bold enough to wear something like that on its own like do you boo um, but it is actually a very pretty shade 
The next color that I want to talk about is called Brave. Now I actually think that this particular color is really really beautiful but something that I want to let you guys know about this is the only color when I tested it out it actually like ugh, it smelled like paint and I hate that I hate that I feel like for that price point you can find a lot of similar colors with a similar finish without the smell it just I feel like lip products shouldn't have to smell like that which is such a shame because it actually looks so beautiful on me and I would probably normally wear this a lot but honestly I mean to tell you the truth I'd probably be tossing it out because I don't like the smell of paint on my lips like it's gross you know um but yeah, I mean, it would be nice to say, like, maybe I just got a bad one, but I don't know. Something tells me that's not exactly the case. And this last color here is called Passionate. Now, I really like this actual color as well but I did notice that slight like paint smell that the last color had which is so strange I think there must be something about this type of pigment that they use that just doesn't smell right and um, that's kind of disturbing so as much as I like the color you guys I personally don't think it's worth it for those two shades that actually smell like paint you know why would you spend six dollars seven dollars on something like that when you know there's a lot more there's just better products you know that are on the market so that being said I'm definitely partial to the lighter shades and also there's that like really bright and vibrant uh, purple and the lilac purple I love those shades brave and passionate are not I'm just not feeling them at all. Um, I don't think anybody should have to spend money on products that smell like paint and you're gonna put them on your skin, you know? So even though they did send this to me as PR, um, I'm just gonna advise you guys, like, if that bothers you, just don't get them. But if you are interested in the collection, those other shades, the four other shades, are bomb um, I love the formula I think it's just it'll sit really nice and comfortable on your lips as long as you exfoliate and you moisturize your lips I think it's gonna be bomb.com I think for me you know NYX has some of my favorite lip formulas I just love the glosses the liquid lipsticks I think a lot of them they hit it out of the park I love that this whole collection was inspired by people who just live their lives out loud and are embracing and celebrating their independence and and their uniqueness I love the idea behind that however I feel like a few of those shades could have been reformulated a little bit uh, before they hit production that's just my two cents if you guys feel differently you know please be sure to let me know down in the comments I love to have discussions around these types of products and product reviews in general and um, let me know if you have any of these shades how you feel about them if you like them and if you don't like them why not so yeah let me know um, if you guys have any other videos that you'd like to see and while you're here you might as well check out these videos and hang out with me a little bit more chill with me <laughs> all right well I love you guys and I will see you in the next video bye